Welcome back, and in this video we will be looking at 3D subdivision in Synchro. So for this part, simply reopen the SP file that you saved before the previous challenge, and we're going to start by unloading structural columns, structural framing, and working with the floors. So I'm going to load structure, and then floors. Remember, if this is too messy, you can right-click, collapse all, and then gradually expand what you need. So in this case, the structural model. So let's look at 3D subdivision. So you have a slab like this one, for example, and this one over here. And in real life, you may need to pour these slabs in different pours. So it's always recommended to subdivide these in the original modeling software. However, if you can't, you can always subdivide them in Synchro. So let's look at that. If you click on a slab, you can go to 3D, and then subdivide. And once you click on subdivide, it opens a new window. You might need to make that a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on. And you'll see that slab over here. Now what happens if I click on another slab or any other 3D objects? It'll be shown for reference. Only the first one will be subdivided unless you click on subdivide multiple objects. So in this case, I'll subdivide these two slabs in one go. So you can choose how many columns you want or you can choose how many rows you want. And in this case, it's considering rows to be along the upward axis. This is because of how the DWG was uh, modeled. Uh, you can change that by clicking layers up and you'll have rows, columns, or you can choose local versus world coordinates. Now, if you wanna edit these, you can simply rotate this in any way you want along any axis you want. So I can even rotate this along here, like that. But usually you don't really do that. Uh, if you want to undo a subdivision, you simply click on zero and it'll tell you, uh, it'll give you a small warning. I can click on zero. Once I do make a subdivision, I can uh, edit where it is by clicking on user slice and changing the location of these lines. You can add other ones. And we'll look at freehand in a second. So for now, you can just close this and you'll see that the two slabs have been subdivided. Now, if you wanna edit a subdivision, you can click on an element, go to subdivide. You can't subdivide the subdivision. However, you can click select subdivided objects and create new subdivisions. Now let's look at freehand. Freehand comes as a separate tool, so you can't really combine the two. In that case, you'll have to choose on which face you want to draw. So I'll click on snap to face and click on one face, and then right click, create subdivision polyline, and choose from one edge to the other. So you can go in a zigzag like that from one edge to the other, and if I close this, then we have these slabs subdivided in that way. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to go back to subdivision, remove the polyline, or just click on none, and then go to put two for columns so that we can have three parts like that. And we'll use this in the next video.